Good afternoon, world. It's 3.15 p.m. It's 3.15 p.m. in the uh, Eastern Standard Canadian time. Hope you guys enjoyed my video I made earlier this morning. I just came back to my interview at the restaurant. I bust to the, uh, to, 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 to the job at the interview, uh, for my interview. Not a long bus ride. It's only like a 12 minute bus ride, 13 minute bus ride. It's not long. I had like a five minute interview and I came back, I bust back home. It was a quick, it was quick, obviously. I was tripping on the bus as usual, obviously. On my way there, I was tripping. On my way back, I was a lot more calm. But like on my way there, I was tripping badly, man. But I'll get used to the anxiety uh, with the keys. I gotta get used to it because these keys are not going anywhere. I right, man, you gotta open your own door. Yeah, obviously. I had an interview at the place. They asked me, "Yeah, can you work full time or part time?" I'm like, "Yeah, full time." I'm like, what time do you guys close? Yeah, we close at nine thirty. Uh, you'll be out of here by 9.30, like I said, yeah. If the, the store closes at 8, but if you do dishes, your chances are you're going to have to stay for an extra hour, an hour and a half to wash all the dishes. So I'll probably be out of there by 9.30, 10 o'clock. 9.30, 10 o'clock is fine for me. I'm, it's, not, it's fine. I can, I, can, I can still take my bus. I can still go to the bar, the Elmer Bar. On the way home, I can still, I can still get what? Beer, um, beer, beer, a beer, a beer for myself on my way back home. And at nine thirty, I can get myself a sub subway. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's a subway right next to the place. Obviously, there's also a Scotia Bank right next to uh the the place, so I can uh, uh, it's, which is good, obviously. Obviously, right? Yeah. Obviously, I just hope I got the job. They said, "Yeah, Ivan, we'll 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 keep and we'll get back to you." Usually for jobs, they don't hire you on the spot. Chances of when they interview you, they 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 look they look at the candidates and they see if 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 the guy's best for job. But because it's a dishwashing job, I I'm doing dishwashing and prep. Chances are they are gonna hire me as it's very tough to find just tough to find dishwashers to work for you. Because dishwashers, a lot of dishwashers quit. Nobody wants to be the dishwasher. So, Sarah. That's why what? But I'm not just dishwasher. I also do prep. You're doing prep work and dishwashing. Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind doing both. Dishwashing and prep work, obviously. I'm a hard worker. I work really, really hard. And it's easy for me because it's, 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 it's in Portage, downtown Gano. Downtown Hull, it's not far. It's like a 12 minute bus ride, man. It's not long at all. 13 minute bus ride, 14 minute bus ride. 14 minute bus ride there, 14 minute bus ride back home. It's, everything's easy for me. Was when I worked at Cora's, I had to, like, it was like an hour and like a half bus ride, man. It was something crazy. I had to take like three buses, three buses to get to work when I worked at Cora's. Because Cora's is in Ottawa, so I had to take a bus to downtown. I had to take a bus to. Tony's Pasture, and then from Tony's Pasture, I had to take another bus to work. Whereas Bird Market was slack. Bird Market, I only had to take one bus because it was downtown Ottawa, and it was, Bird Market was like a 17 minute bus ride for me. 16 minute bus ride, 17 minute bus ride. I go to work and I'm done. Whereas this place is like a 12 minute bus ride, 13 minute bus ride. Portage is not far from home when you take the bus. It's a quick bus ride, so it's very convenient for me. And uh, that's why I want to get, I uh, hopefully I get this job because it's, 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 it's in Hull, Quebec. It's not far from my house. And I always want to work around that area. I always want to work around that area, Potage. I always want to work around that area. I always want to work around that area, yeah. I always want to work around that area. Sarah, I always want to work around that area. Yeah. So, Sarah, I make coffee, so I'm going to go upstairs and get my coffee.
So hopefully I get this job. If I don't get this job, I'll just go to the welfare place. I'm going to actually can raise my amount if I don't get the job. Okay, if I don't get the job, I don't want to work in Ottawa. Man. I really don't want to work in Ottawa. It's too crowded over there. I don't feel like busing. I don't feel like taking like multiple buses. Like I don't feel like busing for like an hour to get to work, man. I want to work in a place near yeah, either in Elmer or Hull. Hull's not. I don't mind working in Hull, like Portage area. It's not far. Obviously, was Ottawa's fucking far. Obviously, I'm sorry. I don't want to work at Beer Market again. I saw a few ads of Beer Market. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to work there. I already worked there. I don't want to work there. <laughs> Beer Market, they make you they, they they make you close to like two three in the morning, man. It's fucking busy over there. It's much busier than the restaurant I applied to, right? Yeah. Nice restaurant, obviously. Nice restaurant, obviously. Nice luxury restaurant, obviously. So hopefully, I get this job. If not, it's fine. I'll, uh, I'll uh, this Friday or this Thursday when I get my check, I will let Welfare come back and know, hey, can you raise my amount to $1,000, $1,200 a month? That way I can save like four hundred five. dollars If I get $1,200 a month from the government, I can save $500 a month. Obviously. The only thing I don't like about Welfare is I got to wait. I got to, I got to, I got to make sure I have enough money for a whole month. Whereas when you work, you get checks every two weeks. So for when I work, I always have money or money on me because I'm always getting, I'm always, I, I'm, I'm getting, I only, I only need money for like a week and like four days. And every Thursday, every, every second Thursday, every second Friday, you get your check. You get paid. So Sarah, you also get tips. Well, chances are that restaurant, I'll probably get maybe, I don't know, $70 in tips. That's, that's nice, just nice tips, obviously. I don't know if they give tips. I'm going to ask them. If they hire me, I'm going to ask, hey, do you guys do tips? Yeah, we do tips. You know what I'm saying? You can ask them if you want, obviously. I'm sorry. Hopefully, I get the job. Chances are they, they might they might hire me. I don't know. I'm a hard worker, man. I'm a very, very, if they don't hire me, they're missing out because I'm a hard-ass fucking worker. I'm, like, I'm the best dishwasher you can ever have, man. I'm a hard worker, man. Now, Ivan's a good dishwasher. Yeah, I'm very fast. Very fast, obviously. And I work hard. Whereas a lot of dishwashers who work at restaurants, they slack off, man. They work hard, some of them, but they slack off sometimes, a lot. They slack off, I'm saying, yeah. Obviously. Beer market, beer market was stressing, man. I watched a shit of this. Just, Coors was not that bad. But uh, beer market was stressing, man. When I worked at beer market, it was stressing. When I when I washed all those dishes, man, it was crazy. Stressing, man. Yeah. So hopefully I get this job. If not, I will visit Welfare. I'll visit the office uh, this Thursday or Friday when I get paid my welfare check. When I get my two fifty dollar check, I will visit the. Uh, I'll probably get beer and smokes early, early, early during the day around maybe twelve one o'clock. I'm gonna visit the welfare office. I'm gonna ask, hey man. I, well, I went online. It says I'm supposed to be making twelve hundred a month, and you're only paying me seven hundred dollars. What's going on here? Because this, the, the doors are locked, most likely. Can you please, can you please raise it to a thousand or twelve hundred a month? That way, I can save more money. If you raise it to twelve hundred, I don't even have to work. I can just save. I can easily save five hundred a month, and by the end of the year, I'll save four grand, and I, and I can blow the seven hundred dollars for myself. So I don't know what's going on here. 
The step parents will, will let me make twelve hundred a month because that's how much money I make working full time, the minimum wage. It's the same thing pretty much, right? Yeah, six hundred every two weeks. So yeah, I don't know why the welfare company is giving me seven hundred dollars. I'm supposed to be getting twelve hundred dollars a month. And they're paying me only seven hundred dollars. Hey, can you raise it? I remember I, they sent me a form and it said non negotiables. I don't know. Maybe they won't allow me to. If they they, they are, we, we we can't do that. I'm like, okay, you can't give me the twelve hundred dollars a month. I might as well work, man. Seven hundred months not enough. That's like part time work. I need at least a six hundred plus paycheck every two weeks to to, 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 to to be doing pretty good. Easily save two hundred a paycheck, four hundred a month. There. And by the end of the year, I'll save like three thousand dollars. I can get my book edited, obviously. Get my book edited. I when you on, I'll probably work at this place for maybe a, a year, or two years, a, a year and like eight months. This year and all of next year, then I'm gonna give my two week notice. Um, that's good enough. Two years, about two years is good enough. I'll give my two week notice to the uh, to the manager. Obviously, I'll give my two week notice to the manager. Obviously, obviously, don't quit, man. Like, you know, so I quit. Uh, what? My, my, uh, all, all dishwashers quit. Dishwashers never give two weeks notice. They always quit, obviously. But my last two jobs, I quit, obviously. Um, for this job, I'm not going to do that. This job, I'm going to give my two week notice. To be respectful, obviously. That way, I can give them time to find another dishwasher. They're going to be like, oh, Ivan, you're leaving? You know, like, yeah, I know. It's saying, oh, man, you're like, there's no dishwasher like you, man. You're such a hard worker. Yeah. Yeah, we get it, Ivan. Yeah, I'm 33. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting old. You know what I'm saying? I, this 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 job can't pay the bills, man. I can't I can't even rent out an apartment with this kind of money, unless I work like seven days a week. But if you work seven days a week, you have no life. If you work seven days a week, you can make a close to a thousand dollars every two weeks. If you make a thousand dollars every two weeks, you can pay your rent, obviously, but you're still barely surviving. If you're living in a seven hundred dollar a month apartment, don't forget you have your phone bill, you have your internet, you have your ca you have your cable. Well, people don't really get cable now, but you have internet. Which should be like 50, 60 bucks a month. You have your phone bill, which should be like 70 bucks a month. That's up. You also have food. You're barely surviving, man. So, Sarah. You know, I even can't survive with minimum wage. Yeah, I can't survive with minimum wage. I'm getting old, man. I'm 30. I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm turning 33. By the end of 2024, I'll be turning 33. Yeah, I'm turning 33. I'm getting old, guys. In seven years, I'll be 40 years old. I'm getting old. I missed out on a lot of things in my life. I never got to live a life in my 20s. I never got to live a life in, 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 in my 20s, man. All these people who I, who I grew up with, they all got to live a life in their 20s. They all went clubbing in their 20s. I only went clubbing like three times. But they all went clubbing. You know what I'm saying? I went to bars and stuff in my 20s, but I never got to live the party life. You know what I'm saying? Like going clubbing and like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All these guys got to live that life in their 20s. I never got to live that life. Because you separate me from VJ. Had you not separate me from VJ, I would have been living that life with VJ in my 20s. Me and her at the club, making out and everything. Yeah, but you separate me from my wife, man. So, Sarah? Hopefully tonight I get my two brothers. I don't think I will. I'm probably going to get it maybe Wednesday or Thursday. Wednesday midnight I get it. Thursday midnight I get it. I don't know. If I get it tonight, I can get my smokes, but I'll be happy, obviously. And I'll probably get a sub. A sub at Bob's Pizza. Get a nice chicken sub. Bob's has amazing subs. Their subs are, you can even argue, are better than Subway, man. That's how good their subs are. They have amazing subs, man. Really good subs, yeah. If you make it the right way. I recommend all you guys who get subs at Bob's and Elmer. I recommend you get garlic sauce and you get barbecue sauce and you smear garlic and barbecue on your sub. Don't have them make the pizza 
put the pizza in the oven with the garlic and 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 barbecue. Otherwise, your sub will be soggy. Don't do that. No. They make your sub obviously, and you get garlic sauce, garlic sauce dip, and and barbecue dip on the side. Obviously, and you take a knife and you you open you 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 peel open your sub. Obviously, you take a knife and you smear. Uh, barbecue and garlic on your sub. Put it inside your sub. And you eat your, your sub with your mayonnaise. Because all the subs have mayonnaise on it, right? It's fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. It's a recipe. It's really, really good, man. I recommend you, all you guys in, 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 in Elmer who love Bob's subs, try that out. And try the pizza with barbecue. Smear your barbecue on top of your pizza and then cook your pizza in the oven for a good 10-15 minutes at home. Or if you want to eat there, have have them make, uh, put the barbecue sauce on your pizza and then put it in the oven for a good like eight ten minutes. Fucking heaven to your to your mouth. But I'm getting a little bit annoyed of the of the of, of the slices and slices are very fattening. Subs are much healthier than slices, hence why if I get two fifty dollars tonight, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get a a sub at Bob's and my pack of smokes if I get my two fifty dollar check tonight. My youngest brother told me I'm supposed to be getting any day now. At the end of the month, I'll be getting any day, so I should be getting any day now. I get my check this Thursday or Friday. I get it. My seven twenty dollar check. I get obviously. But I hope I get this job. I need money, man. Seven twenty is not enough. I need. I need like at least. I used to be making at least like twelve hundred a month. Thirteen hundred a month around there. I need to make. I need to make some some good money to save my money. Save a good four hundred a month I need to save my money. Hopefully, I get this job. If I don't, it's all good. It's, all, it's totally fine. I'll just ask the wolf Green to raise my amount, or I might apply to another job in Elmer. There's a job for a dishwashing position at the British Hotel in Elmer, but it's 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 a seasonal, it's a seasonal job. It's only for like three four months. Like I need the money, like I need like it's only for I need the money, you know what I'm saying? I need to work for 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 for, for, for till the end of the year, obviously. So hopefully I get this job. I have money for myself. Get this job, I have money for myself, Sincera. I have money for myself. Sincera. And if I get the job, I have I once I get my welfare check, I'm gonna have to let welfare come back know that I got a full time job, obviously. You have to let them know. Because they can't be sending you the set founders will not allow me to make seven hundred a month and and the the, well, the welfare Quebec is not allowed to give you that kind of money if you're working full time. It's illegal by law. You can't do that. And that's why you gotta let them know. I don't want to lose my welfare Quebec. I'm like, hey guys, can you still send me small little checks? How much? I don't know. Like, send me like a small twenty five dollar check if you have to. I want to have these benefits, these dental benefits, me medical benefits. So can you send me the? Yeah, we we can send you small little checks, forty dollar checks or something like that. <laughs> I can do that for you, obviously. There, they can do that for you. So, I hope I get this job. Hopefully, I get this job. Honestly, hopefully, I get this job. Hopefully, I get this job. Let's see. And if I do get the job, I'll work there for like two years. Till the end of 2024. I'm going to give my two-week notice. They're going to ask you, I don't know, why, uh, why are you leaving? I'm like, yeah, I'm moving on to better things in my life, man. Well, what? Yeah, I wrote my own book. Oh, you wrote your own book? Yeah, I wrote my own book. 
You know what I'm saying? I wrote my own book, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, yeah, fancy novel. They already know you saw my videos. Yeah, fancy novel, you know what I'm saying? And what? Uh, yeah, Ivan wrote his book. His book's edited. He has his cursed keys, obviously, and he's gonna he's, he's now gonna be king with his with his wife. Yeah, I'm gonna be king with my wife, man. I'm gonna be king with my wife. I'm gonna be king with my wife, obviously. I'm gonna be king with my wife. My wife with me, obviously. They know the time has come. Well, Ivan, we wish you the best. Good luck. I'm like, yeah, thanks. You know what I'm saying? And once I pay the fee, obviously, I cry my eyes on saving my wife, obviously. You know what I'm saying? I saved my wife, obviously. I saved my wife, obviously. What? I saved my wife, obviously. I'm gonna visit that very restaurant. I'm gonna go there, have a bite to eat, and eat, drink, drink some, drink some, uh, drink some, uh, some wine. They have, they sell wine there, right? I'll drink some wine there or something like that. Like, hey guys, what's up? I'll say hi. And say, say a quick hi. Hey, Ivan, how's it going? Yeah, it's pretty good. They know I got paid, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Ivan now, Ivan's now the boss over all of us. He has, he has enough money to own this restaurant. Yes. <laughs> it's actually funny. I'm saying. I have enough money to own that restaurant now. Yeah. I made like, I don't know, $12 million off my book. And I, I have enough money to own that restaurant. <laughs> I have enough money to own all those. I have enough money to own all those restaurants. All those bar restaurants in that street, that Potash street. I have enough money to own all those restaurants. It's all chump change. I can own it all. That's how, that's how powerful I am, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't mind owning all those restaurants. Yeah. I have the money to own all those restaurants. <laughs> Some sir. Yeah. And all those guys are gonna have that shit for look at Ivan now. You know what I'm saying? He's king now, he's a billionaire, and we all work our asses off for like 40, 50k a year, 30k a year, yeah. All these people, these restaurants, they work hard, man. The waiters work hard for 25, 30K a year. The managers work hard for 35, 40K a year, 50K a year. The chances are most managers who work at restaurants, they make like 35, 40K a year around there. The managers who work at restaurants. And they work really hard. They work like five days a week. They get paid a salary and they make like 40K a year. They get like $1,300 checks every two weeks. Not bad pay, pretty good pay. If you live on your own, it's Pretty good, pretty, pretty good paycheck. If you have a family, that's obviously a bit tough on you. But you live on your own, you make 40K a year, you're doing pretty good for yourself. You're, 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 you're living a pretty good life. If you live on your own. Or you're roommating with someone, you're doing really good for yourself. If you're a manager at a restaurant, if you have a bank job, a government job, a trade job, and you make like 40, 50K a year, you're doing pretty good for yourself, obviously. Yeah. Ivan, how much will you save? Okay, if my first paycheck is six hundred dollars or six fifty, I will say if it's six fifty, I'll save two fifty. If I get six fifty bucks around there on average, my paycheck, I'll save two fifty dollars a paycheck. 
four hundred for myself to spend. Two fifty a paycheck I'll save. Four hundred, four hundred for four hundred dollars for a week and what like four days is more than enough money for me to spend. Obviously, to blow it's more than enough money. Obviously, and don't forget you also get tips. Every restaurant has tips. Obviously, I have my tip money too. My tip could probably be maybe seventy dollars or something like that. You have your tip money too. Don't forget that, right? Yeah. Give me a sec, guys. I'm going to go upstairs and get my coffee. Don't hate me. I'll be back in a sec. You don't want to wait. Alrighty, I'm back. I am back. Yeah, so hopefully I get this job. If I don't, it's all good. I'll just go to the welfare place and see if they can raise my amount. Or I might apply to the British Hotel. The British Hotel is in Elmer. It's not even in the hall. I can walk there. I can literally walk to the British Hotel. It's not that far away of a walk. The walk there or bus, but I'd rather just walk. It saves me money, obviously. You can easily walk there. It's not that long of a walk. But it's a seasonal job. It's only like three, four months. I might apply to I might I might apply to the British Hotel just in case I don't get this job. I might be applying to the British Hotel here in Elmer. Work at the bar in Elmer. That's very convenient for me. I don't have to I don't even have to take the bus. I can walk there. I can work close. I can work closing hours because I can just walk back home. I end end at two, three. I can easily just walk back home. So I'm saying right, I think it's easy for me. Walk back home at three, four in the morning. So I'm saying yeah. But somebody tells me I am gonna get this job. It's a dishwashing job. Dishwashing jobs they always hire you. Every every time I apply for dishwashing job, they always like most of the time they always call me back. Hey, Ivan, can you start work this day? Yeah, I know what I'm saying, yeah. I'm sorry. And I'm a hard-working dishwasher. So if they don't hire me, they're missing out on a very hard-working dishwasher, I'm saying. Yeah.
All right, do you see any waitresses here? And there was one woman who, there, there was what? There was one woman I saw there, obviously. She was very cute, obviously. She was cute, you know what I'm saying? I saw one bartender, and I saw another woman eating, eating uh, I, I only saw, like, one waitress, that's it. Um... Um, chances are they weren't much waitresses working that, 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 that during that during that when I when I show up to the, the interview obviously. obviously. But I have to learn to be more social and talk to people more, talk to women more because I'm so fucking shy when I talk to women. I'm fucking square, man. I'm 31 years old. And I'm still square. I'm shy because I never had a girlfriend in my life. I never made out with a girl. I'm so square. Obviously, that's how you get better and more comfortable talking to women. Is by talking more, obviously. I'm more comfortable now. I'm 31 years old. I'm more comfortable now, obviously. I'm a fucking 31-year-old virgin. So I'm very square. I'm very square, obviously. But once I pay the fee, I'll no longer be square. <laughs> I'm no longer the square either because, what, I just had sex with, like, I don't know, like a thousand, fifty hundred women. I'm no longer square, obviously. That's why me, Vijay, I'll no longer be this shy Ivan. Like, I, I see her and I hug her right away, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll be nervous to meet her, obviously, because I've never been in a relationship before. Unless, chances are, when I pay this fee, I might date a few women, obviously. Go on a few dates with them, so I'll be more experienced. But I've never been in, like, a, in a serious relationship. But Victoria Justice has that experience. She had boyfriends, man. So she knows what it's like to be in a serious relationship, obviously. I'm sorry. If I get a job at a restaurant, after I pay the fee, I will visit the restaurant and say hi to, to the employees. Hey, hi, how's it going? And I'll have a, have, a, have, a, have a drink there, have a bite to eat. You know what I'm saying? Say hi. Give the, way, give, give the bartender a nice tip. When I leave, I give the bartender a nice tip, obviously. You know what I'm saying? We visit Cora's? Maybe, but Cora's is what? Cora's, I... Cores I quit like many, many years ago. Like five years ago, I quit Cores, and that's a long time ago. Beer market, I quit, so I'm not going to go there. The only place I'm going to go to in Ottawa is a place called Amigos Bar. I might check out Amigos Bar. During those 10 days, I might go to Amigos Bar in Ottawa. I'll go to the Elmer Bar in Elmer for one day, and I'll go to Amigos Bar in Ottawa, have a drink there. And I'm gonna check out that restaurant if I get the job there. I'll say hi. I'll say hi to all the guys. Obviously, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, Ivan, how's it going? I was like, it's going good. You know what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, show my camera, guys.